Okay friends, uh, so in this video I will tell you what topics I am going to cover uh, in APM tutorial. So let us start with that. So here you can see uh, I have opened this uh, website softpost.org tutorials slash APM. So this is my website softpost.org. Uh, you can visit that website and then uh, you can access this APM tutorial. So let us uh, briefly see what kind of topics uh, I am going to cover in this uh, particular tutorial. We will cover uh, basics of uh, APM uh, in which we will see what kind of environment uh, you will need like what tools you will be requiring to uh, to make the APM tests then how to start Android emulators, how to start iOS simulators. Then we will also see how the APM works uh, at the higher level. After that uh, we will see how to automate web applications uh, in emulators. That is in Android as well as iPhone emulator. So we will see how to launch Chrome browser and then do the automation uh, like uh, how we do it with Selenium. Then uh, same with the Safari, we will do that. After that, uh, we will uh, see how to automate the native apps. So in native apps, we will uh, see what capabilities you will be requiring uh, to uh, like automate the apps in uh, Android as well as iPhone uh, then we will see how to inspect the native Android apps we know that in uh, browsers uh, uh, especially the Chrome uh, we can go to developer tools and uh, see like uh, we can inspect the elements but uh, here how we can inspect native apps that we will see especially the Android apps and then also uh, iOS apps as well and uh, we will see how to automate the native app like uh, for example a calculated app how to automate that how to launch it how to press keys all those uh, things we will see. We will also see uh, the same thing for the iOS, like how to inspect the iOS apps and uh, how to do the iOS app automation. We will launch the contacts app in uh, iOS simulator. And after that, uh, we will also see how to uh, automate the real Android uh, phones and iPhones as well. So there is a difference between uh, automating simulators and automating uh, real phones. So we will see what's that difference there. After that, we will see uh, more like common automation scenarios. Uh, for example, uh, identifying the elements, what kind of methods we can use. For example, uh, XPath, ID, name, accessibility IDs. Then we will see how to press uh, specific keys. For example, back button, home, home button. Then uh, how do we authenticate using face ID, touch ID in iPhone simulators how to do the same thing uh, in android then we will see how to uh, do touch actions like drag and drop tap press long press swiping all those things after that we will see uh, hybrid app automation like uh, uh, if app contains the web browser control so then uh, we need different mechanism to automate that so we'll see how to do that and uh, also we will see how to execute the script like there are certain methods that do not work in iphone or uh, there are no standard uh, W3C protocol for uh, doing that uh, actions. For example, doing uh, scroll in iPhone may not work. So in that case, you can use this execute script. So we'll see what kind of uh, actions we can do that uh, using the execute script. After that, we will see the advanced concepts like taking screenshot of the emulator or the app in the emulator and similar so then we'll see the page object models which is uh, frequently used in uh, most of the commercial projects it's very important uh, basically if you want to get job then we will also see cucumber and apm now cucumber is bdd framework with the help of which we can write the test in plain uh, english language or any other uh, language like german french etc so we'll see how to integrate that with apm after that, we will see how to integrate APM tests in Azure DevOps, Chunky, in Team City, Bamboo, all these kinds of CI servers. So basically, the concept is same. We will just see in one CI server how we can integrate that. And uh, another important uh, concept is Selenium Grid uh, and uh, how to uh, use the APM uh, as a node with the Selenium Grid. So we will see that. Then how to uh, execute our automation tests in Browser Stack. Now, Browser Stack is one of the third-party cloud service provider. Similarly, there is a source lab and lots of other uh, cloud service providers where we can execute our tests in their cloud. So we will see what steps you will need to do that. Then we will see parallel execution like uh, on the same machine if you want to say automate two 
Android emulator is like uh, one on uh, say Android version 10 and another on version uh, 9 at the same time you want to run the same test so how we can do that and the same with the iPhone simulator as well and then we will see recording the test sessions like uh, whatever test is executing we want to record the, all the actions that are happening in the video format so we will see that and finally uh, we will see what are the common errors and exceptions you might get when you are setting up the APM project or when you are executing tests, when you are automating tests then we will see uh, how to create a test strategy for mobile app automation like uh, let us say you want to uh, start a, a automation project for automating these mobile apps then how to go ahead with that thing like what is the test strategy how to define that strategy, test strategy we will see that and uh, finally we will see challenges in mobile automation like what kind of challenges uh, you might face and finally uh, the APM interview questions as well so it is going to be pretty comprehensive course if you uh, complete this course you will uh, I'm pretty sure that you will get confident that uh, about automation of the mobile apps and also uh, if you have more questions uh, regard also if you have more questions uh, on this APM automation or uh, if you need any help from my side just let me through the comments and then uh, I will definitely try to help you in uh, somehow so in next uh, video we will start with the IPM environment setup and meanwhile you can also visit this website as I said earlier softforce.org and uh, just go, go through those uh, tutorial pages and uh, you can also ask questions uh, through the comment section over there as well or directly from the website or if you prefer you can also comment uh, in the uh, this uh, YouTube video down there in the comment section as well so that's it in this video. I will see you next one. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day. Bye.